Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Justice for all, and the presumption that you are innocent until proven guilty, is at the heart of our legal system. In fact, if you look at our TV schedules, it would be easy to assume that we are obsessed with the solving of crime and the pursuit of the guilty. And the Bible itself places great value on justice. So why does Jesus see mercy as being important too? Very recently, I'd forgotten a bit of paper and gone to have a blood test and it was a fasting one and I'd managed to do that. And then I got there and said, I'm really sorry, I can't find the piece of paper. It was entirely my fault. A time where I'd done something wrong, I knew I did it wrong, um, was when me and my dad, we set out a plan from when we was like walking home so that my dad knew I'd be safe. Whereas I decided it would be quicker to walk a different way. So I walked a different way, but it was raining really heavily that day. So my dad went to go pick me up, but I wasn't where he expected me to be. So he got quite annoyed that I'd not listened to him and I'd like gone a different way. So I went, walked all the way back to the doctor, which was a pain. And um, on the way I was thinking, this is, my fault actually and it would serve me right if I was just told to go back and make it do it all again another day. He gave me a second chance and was like well I know you've done wrong and you know you've done wrong but I know that I can trust you to like um, do it right next time. But when I got there even though they were busy, the receptionist said, don't worry, I can give you another one. She did another one. I walked back and got my uh, blood test done. And I thought that was lovely. I would thought, God, you are so kind. I felt that I felt ashamed because, of, because I didn't listen to him. But then I also felt humbled in the fact that he actually gave me a second chance and he actually like, let me get it right. Perhaps I could change the, the analogy and perhaps talk about windows. Actually, if you don't wash the windows in your house, they accumulate dirt and the quality of the sunlight getting gets less and less and less. It's brilliant after the window cleaner's been at home because actually you see outside for once. Or the same thing might be in a car. If you don't clean the screen, you're likely to have a car crash. It's good. To, so in other words, what I'm saying is, I think when Scripture and when Jesus is talking about being pure of heart, he's talking about that sort of thing. It's talking about the clarity, the purification of our motives, so that we may have a strong and purposeful direction in life. Mm -hmm.